You're about to get a first-hand look at one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Tonight, ABC's Ginger Z joins fishermen in Alaska's violent Bering Sea, braving crashing waves and risky conditions. A great haul in the water can mean a big payoff on land, but surviving the elements out here is no easy feat. The volatile Bering Sea, the dramatic backdrop to one of Discovery Channel's biggest hits, The Deadliest Catch, the show where brave fishermen risk their lives to catch millions of pounds of crab annually. Season 11 has just started filming, and with just a few days before the official start to King Crab season, I want to find out just how realistic this gritty reality TV juggernaut is, going behind the scenes to see what life here is really like. Luckily, a few of the captains agreed to take on a new greenhorn, me. My journey begins in the raw and unforgiving port of Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Wow, this is Dutch Harbor, huh? Stunning landscapes draped with some of the harshest weather on the planet. Ginger, Hi. it's so good to meet you. Captain Jonathan Hillstrand and his brother Andy are part of the Time Bandit crew, a 113-foot ship built in 1991. Before I could get on that beast, okay. I needed the gear. Jacket, pants, gloves, boots, and a knife. That's what the guys would have. I am official. Let's do this. Hey guys! Woo! So new, new crew member for today. I'm a new crew member. It's more official than I expected. All right, we're taking off. Leaving Dutch Harbor. This is the start of I have no idea. Our first task, moving bait. 40 pounds. A chain of us handing gruesome boxes. Don't be nice to her either. Stop and take off somewhere. I am. Okay. That's not so bad. Racing the clock, the pungent smell, and the growing swells. It truthfully wasn't easy. You definitely feel some seasickness. Uh, our guest, Ginger, is not feeling very well. She was, uh, Feeding the seals on the other side of the boat. I think one's name was Ralph. I'm yeah. learning life aboard Thank the Time you. Bandit Such isn't for the faint of heart. It's a hardcore, death-defying world that most of us who consume fish never even think about. There's no guarantee that you get crab, and there's no guarantee that you live. If you go in the water, you die. You have three to four minutes to be, you're dead. Every year, some, somebody, somebody dies. dies. That's just one of the things that has worked so well for The Deadliest Catch, the immense danger and drama amid this breathtaking cinematic place. I can see how this could be the deadliest job, though, the most dangerous job. This, this is an easy day, and I've, it's been like 30 minutes, and I can hardly handle it. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice. Good job! She's hired! I did it! I think that for being a green orange, she's pretty good. <laughs> the guys on the deck can make 20 to 50K in just a two to three month season, but they can be at sea for weeks on end. With literally nothing left in me, Captain John lets me sit in his chair, a coveted spot that took him over a decade to achieve. In the galley, a taste a of real ship life. This sounds like full functioning kitchen down here. Yeah. But you yeah. gotta feed how many guys? Like 11 to 12. Can I help myself after? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I get it on this? And these guys are no stranger to a camera in their face. So I felt no qualms about getting into one of the most popular boats. I didn't have enough yesterday, so I gotta get on with SIG and the Northwestern. There. How do you like that? Another rowdy crew, captained by the memorable Sig Hansen. Do I smell like booze? Because I feel like I taste, I can still taste last night. <laughs> they were the crew that had the first female deckhand in season 10. Someday I will work on this deck for crowd fishing. Can I ask about your daughter? How is she? Manny's doing great. She's in school and uh, she's begging to come up here. So, really? Yeah. And so she, so she enjoyed come? it. It was an overall. She rocked it. And so would I, or that was a plan. You want to help me fire up? Sure. You want to start the engine? Uh, yeah, please. If you can't be a fisherman, you might as well be an engineer. Probably not either, but. A loud 
quote reminder, this is not just a show. These are very real people facing very real danger with sometimes very gross you customs. You have to bite the head off for good luck. Get like the a guts. big girl. Right the guts in there. Like All a way big girl. Take it down. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, oh that's oh. 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 Now that that was over, nice. a proper lesson in crabbing. Hey, run! There you go. All right. Hey, let me pull the the thing is, he's got to do this 200 times a day. How did you think you did? I did, I did, I sucked, man. Below the surface, the crabs are caught in 800 pound metal pots, baited with fish before they're dropped 400 feet below. And above the surface, from the sky, we got the most remarkable view of all. All documented, one chopper shot at a time. Away we go! Joining the behind the scenes magic, I watched how they get those jaw dropping angles. About how high are we flying? About 300 feet above the water. The pilot communicating with Captain Sick, pilot and remote cameraman seamlessly finding the perfect shot. Unbelievable that I was up here, down there, and that these guys are about to embark on yet another long season. For Nightline, I'm Ginger Z from the Bering Sea.